Here we'll explore some different techniques with paragraph formatting with and child, basically things that perhaps you never thought about before. Now pay close attention to the fact that I just have a rule for wrapper and notice that I have space between here and here. Now that's my default space, so the best way, if you looked at my previous videos, the best way to get rid of default space is to set the asterisk tag which is the wildcard tag to zero, zero. So let's do that. We're going to go down here. We're going to set a new CSS rule. Compound is good. We're going to type in the asterisk tag, which is the wildcard tag, the universal tag. Basically, this tag communicates to all HTML tags. All HTML tags are affected by this universal tag. So we're going to set under category of box, we're going to set the box category to zero, zero. Why zero? Because I can count from zero. This is going to set the default browsers to zero padding, zero margin. So watch what happens to my content. Now, what happens here is I have no space inside any tag, including the wrapper tag. This is the grandfather tag that you go on top here. Okay. Now, I just want to make a couple of adjustments here. First thing I want to do is double click the wrapper tag. I want the wrapper tag to drop down exactly half inch. There's 72 points to an inch, so I can say 72 divided by two. 72 divided by two is half inch. Therefore, if I apply this, this drops down exactly half inch from the top. Now, notice that my paragraphs have no space at the bottom because the asterisk tag got rid of the space. So how do I put the space back in? So we're gonna select the P tag. P for paragraph, select the tag here, come over here, and based on these choices, new CSS rule. Select the tag, make a rule. We're going to make a rule specifically for P, for P for paragraph. We're going to say at the box bottom, margin space at the bottom, we're going to put 1.6 M spaces. Again, an M is equal to the height of the letter M, a capital M, so if my body copy Typeface was 10 pixels, that space would be 16. One point times 6, it, 10 is 16. 10 times 1.6 is 16. So fourth grade math class comes back to haunt you. Okay, so if I say that, P for paragraph now has space at the bottom of the paragraph. Here's my space. Now, if you don't want that much space, I could double click P for paragraph, come back in here again, box at the bottom bottom box, set this to, let's set this to 1.4. In fact, let's set it to 1.35 M spaces. So it puts less space. Okay, so here's my objective here. I want to section these paragraphs off in separate boxes across the page. So here's a simple way we could do this. We could select the P tag, select the tag, rule, select the tag, make a rule. So we're going to say P, P colon nth hyphen child. And we're going to talk to the first paragraph. First paragraph, nth child. So it's name of the tag, colon, any tag, h2 tag, div tag, any tag can have nth child. P colon nth hyphen child one. So we're going to set this P for paragraph. We're going to make it, we're going to put this in a box. So background color is going to be, let's make this yellow. Width of the paragraph is going to be half the width of the wrapper tag. So I could say 900 divided by 2. 900 divided by 2 is 450. So this P for paragraph tag is going to be 450 pixels wide with 10 pixels of padding. Okay, so if I can't see this until I go to live view. Once I go to live view, here's my paragraph. My paragraph is set 10 pixels of padding, 450 pixels wide, which is half the width of the wrapper tag. So now I can do the same thing with paragraph two. Now a simple way to do this is to hold down the control key or right click windows, duplicate the existing rule for child one, we're going to affect child two. So nth child two, which is my second paragraph. So for the second paragraph, we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to go to box category. 
and we're going to make the same width, but for the margin space, we're going to margin space to the left, 450 pixels to the left, which is going to move the box over from the left. We're going to say background color just because we can. Let's make this the opposite of this color. We could select the color. So if this is where the color lives, this is the color opposite. Now, Windows machines might act slightly different. I'm on a Macintosh right now, so that's a simple way to do this. So let's make our type color white because black type's not going to look perfect on blue background. Okay? So again, you can't see this until you go to live view. So there's my paragraph. My paragraph is 450 pixels to the left. That would happen here is I need to account for the padding space. So I'm going to go back to take live view off and I'm going to say end child to the left is going to be 450 minus left and right, which was 20. So we're going to say minus 20. Padding to the left, 10. Padding to the right, 10. Minus 20. So now, when I go back to I view, it's going to fit inside the box. How cool is that? Right? So I could basically do this for different types of paragraphs. I can get, get my paragraph to be formatted exactly how I want it to be using and child. Notice that these paragraphs are not affected. These are paragraphs that are affected by my default P for paragraph tag. Now, technically, the P for paragraph tag should appear up here in the HTML. Now, of course, I'm taking this very specifically. You should have an H tag and a body tag, all your basic HTML tags. But I'm just focusing in this particular series of lessons on the nth child, nth child. So it's P, nth child. So if you wanted to affect every other paragraph with the same setup here, you could simply do something like this. You can say, two and plus one. This is going to start at the first paragraph and do every other paragraph. For this, I can say two n, two n plus two. That's going to start with the second paragraph. So I come up here to live view. This is what I have. Pretty cool. So this right here is going to say, start with the first paragraph, make every second paragraph be yellow. This is going to say, start with the second paragraph, make every second paragraph blue. So it's a very exciting technique that I can basically talk to and format paragraphs. So you wouldn't assume that this is a paragraph looking at it. You would think it's a div tag. It's not a div tag. It's just a P tag. So very important step here, guys. When you go into your rules, no matter what the rule is, if I double click here, these options, these choices are the same set of choices for every single tag. So don't let this be confusing to you. You can basically format any tag using CSS rules. Select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule for that selected tag. So as an example, these choices for category choices are the same choices for every single tag. It's up to you as to which rules, which one of these categories options you choose to work. So as an example, selecting this tag here is different than selecting this tag, which is different than selecting this tag. So whatever tag you select is the tag you're going to affect. So again, and child, I can't overemphasize enough. I spent, this is the fourth video on this subject. This is a very, very powerful, powerful technique how I can talk to different tags on the page using and child. Enjoy your day. Thanks for subscribing. Please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Also, if you and your company need custom videos, I can create a custom video for any underscore any Adobe product. I am a total Adobe master. Been working with Adobe software since 1987, 25 years. If there's a quick, fast way to do something, I'm the guy. I know the quickest, best, simplistic way I get you to think the way the software thinks. Think Dreamweaver, think After Effects, think 
Photoshop, think Illustrator. I get you to think the way the software thinks. My training is better than anything else you'll see out there because I break it down very simply. Very, very simply. Have a good day. Talk to you soon. My name is Robert.